Hello and welcome back to Wild Thistle Kitchen. My name is Anita and today I'm going to show you all of our dinners from the month of January, the first month of the Three Rivers Challenge. This is really a very casual overview, not so much a tutorial, but some of the recipes I was able to film a little bit of extra and I'll explain as we go along. So this first dinner was really delicious. This was a like an Asian chicken noodle bowl. Um, and I made it with this ground chicken from Azure. These are some sauces that all had like a little bit left in them and I used them all up. This dinner was a big hit and I will definitely be making it regularly. The next night, uh, Friday night, we had burgers. We have burgers almost every Friday night and Jason and I like to have them on, if we have them, leftover baked potatoes. I always bake extra and we smash them and crisp them up and have our burgers on top of them. And then Saturday nights, pretty much always we have homemade pizza. It's my husband's favorite meal. And I have been making it lately with a little bit of sourdough discard and einkorn flour. I will link my pizza dough recipe below. It's not made with einkorn in the recipe, but you can just swap it out. I've been doing that lately and it turns out great. And I made a pizza sauce with some Italian herb tomato sauce that I had canned and I really needed to use up. Got some mushrooms, the last of our fresh mushrooms, well almost the last of them. And we roll our dough out on some semolina flour works out really well for like almost like the way you would use cornmeal for a pizza crust and then this is the mozzarella that i get from azure we shred it up and store it in the freezer and just use it each week for pizza and for other other things and here are the pizzas all finished up we've got some nice fresh ingredients and you know as the month goes on we have less and less of those because of this pantry challenge but it's okay because we have really good canned items in our pantry to use. So yeah, pizza Saturday. It's always it's always a fun it's just a fun tradition and we everybody in the house really loves pizza and we make it we usually make two or three and kind of vary the toppings. Then this next meal is a curry, kind of a clean out the fridge and freezer curry, uh like a Thai curry, not an Indian curry and it was so good. I again, this is the kind of food I could eat every night. I used some boneless skinless chicken thighs I had in the freezer, some Thai curry paste, some frozen veggies, cauliflower. I had a couple of jalapenos in the fridge that we used up. They were not spicy, so this was a pretty mild curry um, and everybody really enjoyed it. We had some regular rice and then I had some really old frozen cauliflower rice that I used up here and it was really, really good. The next meal is a chili. Again, my, my chili is never the same. I use whatever I've got, whatever meats, you know, like either ground pork or ground beef. In this case, it was one of each, one pound of each. And then I had a tomato that needed to be chopped up and used. Some tomato paste, some canned tomatoes, some home canned tomatoes there. And then some random beans. We had one can of kidney beans and one can of these black soybeans which I've been just trying to throw into things because I bought them and they're not bad, but they're not my favorite bean. And so I'm just adding them here and there. And they were really good in this chili. Added some spices, some turmeric and some other spices. My dad always added turmeric to his chili and taco meat. And so I do too. Just cooking the tomato paste and those spices a little before I add the tomato sauce and the beans. And I like to add something vinegary or um, like pickled. So in this case, I chopped up a few little pickled jalapenos I had in the fridge and added that and their brine. And then some sour cream. We're really, I was really trying to ration the sour cream. I had one open and then one unopened at the beginning of the pantry challenge. And I've been trying to be a little bit frugal with it because I really love sour cream and I don't want to run out but I know that I will eventually and that's okay and then we had our chili on top of sweet potatoes and it was really good and some shredded cheddar and some sour cream and the next night we had leftover chili very exciting but I also made a salad because I was kind of craving something fresh and light some homemade ranch I used my buttermilk powder to make that and it was a really good little fresh salad to go along with the leftover chili. Then the next night, again, was 
pizza night. So we're back to Saturday again. And you'll notice I'm not showing you 31 meals because we eat leftovers. And I actually love leftovers. So in between these wonderful meals, we're enjoying some leftover nights as well. The next meal is uh, this beautiful beef tenderloin. And I used my homemade dill kind of steak seasoning that I made over the summer. It's dill seed, garlic, salt and pepper all ground up together. I trimmed all the silver skin and fat and cut it into three pieces. I really love a whole beef tenderloin. Um, we get a half cow every so often and I ask for it whole rather than cut into steaks because it's better in my opinion to cook it like this instead of in little steaks and I can control the temperature so much better. And I also cook some chicken legs, some baked potatoes, and some cream spinach. It was really good. And this next meal is shepherd's pie, which I do have a recipe for on my blog. This is more technically a cottage pie because I used ground beef, not ground lamb. And this was a recipe I grew up with, my dad made all the time. So it's very special. Shepherd's pie is very special to me. Um, so I will link that recipe below. This is, um, I'm adding some things that I don't normally add just to get them out of the fridge. Those mushrooms there, I don't normally add those, but of course I love mushrooms, so they were a welcome addition. Some garlic and mushrooms there I'm adding to the veggies that I had already been sauteing. Carrots, celery, onion, kind of the classics there. And of course making the potatoes to mash for the topping. But as you'll see, this is going to be a deconstructed one. I didn't put it all together. We just served the meat on top of the mashed potatoes, which is like my lazy version of it. And then I'm using the ground beef there, and I got a little adventurous and decided to use up some of that beef liver that I had shown in my pantry and freezer tour video, my, my last video. I chopped it up really finely, but you know, if I did this again, I would probably blend it because... I don't mind the taste of liver, but the texture of it in here was definitely not my favorite. I still ate it, we all did, and it was good, but those little nuggets of liver were not my favorite. And then I added in some flour to thicken, some bay leaves, some broth, and then added some veggies right in. My dad didn't add the veggies, the um, peas and corn to it. He would always serve like a side dish, but I just tossed them in to make it really easy this time, and it was very, very good. Everybody enjoyed it. And this next is like a sort of a breakfast for dinner. I had some of those white sweet potatoes I had to use up. And so I just cooked them in some bacon grease. And we had them with eggs. Really simple. Really good. Nice breakfast for dinner. My husband cooked a little steak. As you can see, I have like a few little pieces there. And then this next dinner is another curry. This time I'm using some chicken breasts I had in the freezer. And it is another kind of a Thai inspired curry. I had a lot of coconut milk in my pantry that I really wanted to use up because um, it was coming up on its expiration dates, which I don't worry about too much with things like coconut milk. But still, as part of this pantry challenge, I wanted to use it up and get another order um, sometime in the spring. And then that's a jar of my orange tomato sauce. I grew a lot of orange and yellow tomatoes last year and that is one of my sauces. I thought it would be nice in the curry because it's already kind of a pretty orange color. That's another thing I want to use up during this pantry challenge are some lingering jars of really delicious home canned tomato sauce. And so I'm just browning up that chicken in some coconut oil. And then the rice, I'm also toasting in some coconut oil. I like to toast it for like five-ish minutes. This is how my dad always made rice. Not with coconut oil, but the same method with um, either oil or butter. And then add some water. Not double. A lot of people use double the amount, and I just think that creates a gummy rice. This is about equal parts rice to water but like about a quarter cup of extra water and then I added that coconut milk to the curry mixture back here while I'm waiting for the rice to come up to a boil so I add the water after toasting the rice bring it to a boil reduce it to a simmer and put a lid on cook it for 20 minutes don't open the lid don't stir it don't do anything and you will have 
perfect fluffy rice every single time, I promise. And this was a bag of bok choy that had really been in the fridge for too long. So I'm using it up here. It was still in great shape. Bok choy lasts a long time in the fridge. It's one of my favorite greens. Gave the bok choy a good wash. It was really, really dirty bok choy, um, but I washed it really well, like three times in the salad spinner. And then I just sauteed some garlic and tossed the bok choy in and cooked it just briefly. Just a couple minutes. And there's that fluffy rice after 20 minutes covered, not peaking. And it was this was such a good dinner. I... I love Thai flavored curries. It's one of my favorite, favorite flavors. And the next night, burgers again. I didn't get a finish shot of these, but you know, it's a burger. So we've all seen them. I had some of my homemade French bread. I will link that recipe below. And then just lots of good toppings, multiple pickly things. We all love like fermented pickled things on our burgers. And then here we go again. It's pizza night, but we did something a little different this time. We're making a like a Philly cheesesteak pizza with some of our shaved steak we got with our half beef. I made like a white cream sauce, like a Parmesan cream sauce, and then those canned mushrooms I got from Azure. Some leftover onions from our burger night. And we just spread that on the einkorn pizza crust and added of course the mozzarella the azure mozzarella and the beef my husband's putting it on top and there's the finished pizza it was really good i am kind of a traditionalist with pizza but this was really good i just love like a classic pizza flavor there's the bottom crust i always have to show that and then we topped this with some of those pickled peppers and it was really good here i made some refried beans in the instant pot to go with tacos. We just had like a simple taco night. I ended up having a taco salad because I didn't make tortillas. We did have a few leftover corn tortillas, but I just ended up having a nice big taco salad and it was really good. I had some lingering iceberg lettuce, which actually lasts a really long time in the fridge when it's still like in its whole form. And then I had to open my second sour cream I'm going to be sad when this one's gone because I really am going to try to do this pantry challenge for two or maybe even three months. And then those refried beans turned out really good um, and I made a lot. So these are going in the freezer and then we ate some that night. The next night I got some lentil soup going. I actually got the, the lentils soaking earlier in the day and this was a nice snowy day. I love cooking on a snow day. But yeah, this one I was just winging it, and I really wanted to use up this turkey bone broth that I had in the freezer from Thanksgiving. So I got some bacon going in a pot and strained that off and then added carrots, celery, onion, garlic, some herbs, some bay leaves, some salt and pepper. Pretty classic ingredients for a soup. And then to get that turkey broth out of the bag. I just ran it under some hot water and I had to cut one edge of the bag and uh, pull it out of there. I like to reuse bags, but this one already had a tiny little hole in it from the freezer, so I had to sacrifice it. Then adding that, the lentils into the broth and I just cooked it for maybe 20 minutes until the lentils were tender. And I like to add a splash of either wine or vinegar to a lot of my soups, but especially lentil soup. I think it really needs a little bit of acidity. It was really good soup. We ate that for a couple days. And then here, my daughter asked if I would make, I used to make this a lot when she was younger, kind of like a leftover taco hamburger helper pasta type thing. So it was cute that she asked for that. She's 16 now. So, you know, whenever she asks for things like that, it warms my heart. <laughs> um, but it was very good. We had kind of a leftover night that night too. And this was not enough for everybody, but I had a taste of it and it was delicious, but it was mostly, mostly for her. And then this is another burger night. I know <laughs> we can be predictable on Friday nights. So just the same. We had some leftover baked potatoes. We like to slice them in half and I put them in a skillet, get them a little crispy on the cut side and then squash them and keep cooking them so they get 
crispy and I flip them so they get crispy on both sides um, and but they're still a little tender inside it's not crispy all the way through and it's just really good to have a burger on top of that it's kind of become like our favorite way to have burgers if you've never tried it I recommend it then again Friday night burger Saturday night pizza I'm cooking up some regular breakfast sausage and adding onion, garlic, and oregano, and I did add some red pepper flakes too, to give it kind of an Italian flavor. And we're rolling out that einkorn pizza crust. And here are some toppings, these good green olives from Azure, some mushrooms, some pepperoni, sausage, mushroom, olive on this one and we always top it if we have it we top it with some freshly grated parmesan just so good this is my kind of pizza more of a traditional flavor profile and then here's our cute little helper getting into the cabinets <laughs> and yep there's jason cutting up the pizza and again we put these greek pepperoncini on pizza pretty often it's really good to have a little pickly fresh bite on there and there's the pepperoni one all out of the oven and this next meal was chicken thighs with some creamed spinach really simple um, nice crispy chicken skin always wins in my book salt and pepper just cooked it until it was crispy in the oven and then made some quick creamed spinach I just cooked down heavy cream. My husband does like semi low carb a lot of the time so I don't make like a floury roux here and you really don't need to. If you boil down heavy cream it will thicken without anything added to it. So once it gets thick and bubbly I add the spinach. If I think ahead I will thaw the spinach and squeeze out all the extra water but I didn't this time and it turns out just fine if you just add it right to the sauce and cook it. Sometimes the sauce will get a little green if you do that, but I don't mind. We don't mind. It still tastes really good and that's all that matters. But yeah, this is one of our like go-to side dishes and it's why I always get big boxes of frozen spinach from Azure. And there is that yummy crispy chicken out of the oven. And the creamed spinach all done. That was our dinner and just really simple like we could have had a salad on the side or you know a baked potato or something but we kept it really simple on this night and the next night <laughs> we did it again I actually added this can of artichoke hearts it's just been like a thorn in my side for some reason I just really wanted to use it up during this first month of the pantry challenge so I chopped it up and added it to the leftover creamed spinach and it was really good that way and I cooked some sweet potatoes, we had a salad. This was a more full meal than the night before because I had a little more time on this night. We have a teething toddler, so some nights are better than others in the dinner department. There's some yogurt I had going that same night. And then for our final meal of the month, I made Salisbury steak, kind of my thrown together version of it, but it was kind of a rainy day and I had a it just popped in my head. I used to make this pretty often and I hadn't made it in a very long time. So I made, I just took some ground beef out of the freezer, thawed it really quick in some water and added, it's almost like a meatloaf mixture in my opinion. So I added all of those ingredients, mushed it up and created these little oblong patties and then browned those, took them out of the pan and added garlic, onion, some butter and some einkorn flour to thicken up and make it like a gravy. A splash of wine. Um, you, you don't have to add that if you're not into alcohol or if you don't have an open bottle. I like the acidity it gives. And then some dried mushroom powder and bone broth concentrate I added. I didn't have any beef broth so that was that's my little secret to have that in the fridge always. And then this was a bag of mixed veggies that I just really wanted to use up too. So we had that and it was just a really good, wholesome, like country cooking kind of meal. And I really, we really loved it. Um, but yeah, here it is all finished up. It was, this was such a good dinner. I'm definitely going to make this more often. 
and a shake of crystal hot sauce in my dad's honor. Well, that's it. That's our whole month of meals for the month of January for the Three Rivers Challenge. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it gave you some ideas for meals you can make out of your pantry, fridge, and freezer without having to go to the grocery store.